Good morning, it's Monday, so time for some book talks. Um, I only read one book last week because I've been really bad about not putting my phone down and reading books like I'm supposed to. Um, also, you usually listen to a bunch of audiobooks, but instead I've been listening to a bunch of music, which is also nice, but doesn't give me any books to talk about. So, um, I'm going to talk about the one book that I read, and I'm going to quickly go through um, a bunch of spooky books because I'm reading one and it's good but I'm not done with it yet so here is the book that I read last week it's called Bloom and it is a graphic novel it's all done in this lovely little kind of blue tealy palette and it is a cute sweet fluffy gay romance okay set in a bakery by the beach and it is just, like I said, super cute. It's about this boy who is, yeah, he's just finished high school. His parents run a bakery. He's worked there his whole life. But he really wants to kind of go and do something else. He's in a band, and they're all supposed to go move away and, and do stuff with their band. But stuff happens with that. Um, but to help f facilitate his escape, he finds someone else to help at the bakery. Um, it turns out this guy has just moved to town. His grandmother passed away, and he's, you know, staying in her house, and he's going to school for, you know, to be a pastry chef or something like that. So, anyway, you know, meet cute at the bakery. I don't normally read a lot of fluffy romance type stuff, but I really liked this book. It was really super sweet. If I'm going to read a romance, it's going to be in graphic novel format, so it can be done faster. Um... Also, the illustrations add a lot to kind of the motion of the story. And um, there was one part in this book where they did a really good job of building tension. And when they finally get to, you know, a moment, something else really big happens. And it was just, I was reading it in the morning while I was eating my breakfast. And this thing happened. And I'm just like, ah! and I have to put the book down and go do something else. And then come back to it and, you know, see how everything kind of wraps up. Um, but highly recommended check it out now what i am working on this week is my best friend's exorcism we've had this for a while and i've I always you know walked past it and thought it looked interesting if you like stranger things you'll like this book okay i'm, I'm only a little bit of the way in there um, but it's it's really good i just need to put my phone down and read it um, but in the spirit of spookiness i'm gonna throw a couple books at you real fast this is another graphic novel. We have this whole series, Lock and Key. I believe there's a TV show out there about it already. Um, so if you watch that, you might want to check out the graphic novel because this came first. Um, very spooky. I'm not going to give you all the details. If you've seen anything about the, the show, then you know the basic premise. Um, spooky house, keys that do weird stuff, gory. You've got both supernatural and real life bad things going on. Um, highly recommend. Uh, the Diviners. This one's actually in our historical fiction section because it is set in the 1920s and there's so much focus on the historical detail. We put it in the historical fiction section. Um, but also, uh, people with supernatural powers. There's a girl who can read um, objects and get impressions from the people that owned those objects. Um, I'm not sure how much they tell you at the beginning of this book, but other people can do other things, and they call them diviners. Um, but the big bad guy in this book is a serial killer, so um, they're trying to help figure out how to stop this guy. But some supernatural elements going on with that as well. The diviners. There's four books in that series so far, I think. Um, this one, a classic, uh, Maggie Steve Fodder. This is Werewolf Romance, okay? Um lovely not your typical werewolf um story because they don't like turn into wolves at the the full moon they turn into the wolves based on temperature so like when it gets cold they become wolves more of the time and the longer they're werewolves the earlier they start changing like the is the temperature range for them gets uh different okay so like i said longer they're wolves the longer they will be wolves proportionally of their time um, but anyway girl meets wolf good story check it out there's three of those four of those maybe one was lost this is um kids go out in the woods and somebody starts picking them off one by one killing them in weird creepy ways and leaving messages on their body and stuff good stuff check it out 
I recommend this book all the time um, to people that want something with ghosts. Uh, this one is about a boy who was raised in a graveyard, okay, because when he was little, like maybe two or something, he was in his crib and this guy came in and knifed his whole family to death. Um, and he managed to crawl out of the crib and escape. But that guy has been looking for him his whole life. But he managed to make it into a graveyard where the ghosts kind of, you know, protected him and then raised him. And it's cool. World War Z. I was talking about this book the other day. Not at all like the movie. The movie is a no, okay? Book is a yes, okay? Um, it also reminds me a little bit about this whole pandemic situation going on um, because it refers to it as the plague years. But it's more of like a documentary type thing. And they're going to different places around the world and talking to people um, about what is going on. Super creepy. Um, it's not Brad Pitt and Fast Zombies. Much, much better. Lastly, this one is in fantasy, even though it's witches, because we're inconsistent like that. I'm inconsistent like that. Um, <laughs> but um, this is another series called Half Bad by Sally Green. One of my favorites. It's about a boy who is illegal, okay? In the, the situation where he lives, you have white witches and black witches. Really not that many black witches, but um, he is not either, okay? So he shouldn't exist and his freedom is taken away because of that lots of other stuff happens kind of fuzzy for me because it's been a long time but it's really good so if you like stuff like that then check it out and that's all see you later bye